Hello my friends, I greet you in the light and the love of the one infinite creator. And in today's session, I have asked about many of the questions which uh, many of you want to know. Uh, firstly, the looking glass event which will happen in December, okay? And they also stated that, you know, this is the last wave of darkness which uh, we will face uh, possibly and then also uh, they describe you know what is the looking glass event which will happen and what the negative entities are planning to do and this is for the purpose of spreading awareness and they have also described a method of how can we stop it so hopefully you know we can stop the event and also in this session they talk about the sounds which have been heard inside the river Euphrates. So I'm, I will play a little clip before the session begins so that you understand you know, what kind of sounds are being heard from the river Euphrates, okay? And this is also explained beautifully so I fully understand you know, what it is and you will too after listening to the session. And finally, uh, they also answered the question. I wanted to know like uh, the past and the current life of Nostradamus, the the one who was able to see into the future and uh, the answer the past life is amazing i learned a lot from that as well and i hope you will learn a lot too in this session and before the session begins i want to say thank you to all of you for joining me on my patreon uh, because we will do a meditation on december 24th in order to stop the negative entities uh, we have been doing this and we have been successful uh, in every single time so let's do this again and the other thing is towards the end of the video i will open up a gift which was sent to me uh, by spirit compass so stay tuned for that and thank you for liking the video as it helps to reach out to other star seeds light workers and wanderers at this time so with that being said enjoy my friends We are the Galactic Federation and we shall now communicate through this instrument's vibration patterns. At this time, for providing our thought forms in order to communicate with this instrument's inner heart sequence which will allow the instrument as well as those entities who shall be in need of this communication to understand the information which shall be provided at this time. Furthermore, the entity known as the instrument has requested many queries, of which we are now going to address and share with you. Our information which is related with the greater understanding of the mind complex activity at this time. We are now going to address the query which is in question which is about the next event of the looking glass as known in your language terms. However, before we start sharing this information, the discernment is advised to be used at this time by all mind, body, and spirit complexes who shall come in contact with our messages. Furthermore, there is but one message, and that is each entity in this timeline must remember that the next looking glass event is happening in the month of December wherein the entities known as the Orions and the reptilian humanoids have plans to firstly use their creation of an energy wave distortion 
amplifier system which they have created in the Martian planet to send a wave of energy to the Yellowstone volcanic region and this may cause the volcanic activity in that area to be amplified if such a wave is not stopped by the people of the planet we must state that this region is highly volatile and if the energetic waves reach the volcano there may be many types of explosions and volcanic eruptions which may lead to the creation and understanding of the patterns of reality this will furthermore allow such a volcanic activity to occur in that time and there will be many patterns which will be revealed such that there may be many entities who may not be ready for such types of eruptions in your space and time furthermore we as the Galactic Federation must state that this event's approximate timeline is around December 24th as known by your people wherein the negative entities have found an appropriate timeline as per the looking glass information to activate this volcano and we the Galactic Federation must also state that there may be many types of distortions in this timeline which can be activated at this level of consciousness and as such there may also be many types of understanding of the creation of reality that the entity has to realize that this can be stopped by the process of providing a shield of energy wave wherein the wave around the earth planet by using individualized portion of consciousness under meditation and connecting with the source within the self of each entity who are willing to act as the amplifiers of the love vibration this will protect the earth planet for any negativity emerging from the mars planetary sphere furthermore this is also the so-called last wave of darkness which is approaching your space-time in this timeline of 2022 and then we must state that this may be the last attempt this year by the negative entities to try and overturn the vibrations of the planetary sphere towards their own behalf we shall now address the other portion of the query which pertains to what are the sounds coming out of the Euphrates River. We must state that the river Euphrates has dried up and many types of consciousness trapped within its shores. This happened around the period wherein the civilization known as the Mesopotamians and there were other civilizations who were available at the period of around 4,000 years approximately wherein these people were interacting and learning the lessons at that period there were many beings and entities of the human collective consciousness who had attained a understanding of functioning in the basic third density beginning stages of reality however they were unaware of the full consciousness which is now available to the people of the earth planet hence at that time there were many types of entities who were from different planetary spheres and as well as from the angelic realm who had incarnated in the form of human collective consciousness to assist in the transition by teaching them several teachings and knowledge which was required to be learned however because of the lack of full understanding of the functioning of the human collective consciousness many of these wanderers became entrapped 
in this location because their souls were entrapped in the vibrations of the beginning third density reality as they were unable to realize that they are wanderers with a mission hence these entities soul were found attached to the location known as the Euphrates River and this is the distortion which is being felt at this timeline that the voices which are being heard are from those entities who are located near the Euphrates River base which means that these entities who have wandered off from their course have chosen to stay as elementals beneath the river Euphrates and they have made their home in a way beneath the river Euphrates and this is the reason why many entities hear sounds and vibrations emerging out of this river furthermore we as the Galactic Federation are now going to address the other portion of the query which pertains to the understanding of a spiritual method which will assist those who want to shift their consciousness at this time. We must state that every moment is a opportunity for all entities to choose between the vibrations of love or fear as the vibrations of love or fear are the basic choices which can be made at this time which means that all entities who are able to firstly tune into the vibration of love will have the opportunity of firstly sensing this reality and also in a way they are able to let go of the vibration of fear every moment there must be a choice made by each mind body and spirit complex to either feel love or fear this can be done by becoming self-aware of the lower energy centers in the location as known by your people as the stomach area wherein such a focus can be placed and this focus can allow the vibration distortion of understanding of firstly realizing how to feel the vibration of love will allow it to feel this vibration furthermore we as the galactic federation must also state that this density upon which each entity finds itself in is called the density of choice and in this regard there is but a choice to be made in every moment either to tune into the vibration of love or fear furthermore this choice will allow the dynamics of the two pathways the choice of choosing to use the vibration of love for service to others and to use the vibration of fear for service to self as the vibration of love is an example of service to others whereas the vibration of fear is an example of service to self furthermore in this density reality it is the central theme of all incarnation cycles in the third density to make this choice between the higher and lower vibration between the light and the dark or between the love and the fear vibration and between service to others or service to self furthermore we are now communicating with those that have made this choice of service to others and we in our third densities also during our various experiences made that choice which chose the path of light and love and this allowed us to serve others and now it is your time to do so by making this choice 
When you do make this choice, you must realize that you will begin to work with the one infinite creators force, and that force will allow you to continue in whatever pathway you desire to continue in. Either the path of service to self or service to others begin to allow you to feel the power and resonance which is able to allow the internal rhythms of space and time to be activated in this timeline. Furthermore, many entities in this reality, they forget that each action is emerging from either the vibration of love or the vibration of fear and we shall now share the answer to the final query which pertains to the past and the current lifetime of an entity known as Nostradamus by your people we as the Galactic Federation are now going to address that the entity known as Nostradamus had a impact upon the planetary sphere as a seer of space-time and predictions were given predicting future events which have led to the culmination of many of these events happening in your space-time we shall now move backwards from its current timeline incarnation location from 1503 wherein it had incarnated upon the earth planet and it crossed over in the time of 1566 prior to that it was found in infinite timelines and possibilities and for the better understanding of your people we shall only share one of the timelines of its incarnation cycle prior to incarnating in that timeline it was found in the space and time location as known by your people as the timeline of 1840 it was known by the name of Jan in the location as known in your language terms as France it had incarnated at that time for the purpose of learning lessons as a spiritually focused entity whose focus was on learning to understand to better experience the spiritual inner nature of the self and to focus on the internal vibrations of understanding about its own inner nature furthermore this entity in that timeline it was able to fulfill its mission as a wanderer the second time which was the primary purpose for which it had incarnated at this time this was the second timeline it had chosen to incarnate as a wanderer in the earth planet and then prior to the first incarnation it was found in the timeline wherein the entity was able to spend its timeline in the location of Atlantis around a period of 45,000 approximate space-time years at that time this entity had obtained the vibration of fourth density consciousness by making the choice of choosing the vibration of love and this incarnation furthermore aided this entity to the highest understanding of the minds the body and the spirit complex totality furthermore this entity was also in that timeline given many opportunities of learning to understand the inner aspects of the self primarily to become self-aware and then to choose the pathway it chose the pathway of service to others in that timeline after which this entity then having learned many lessons in that timeline was able to find itself in various 
locations and timelines wherein the main purpose of this entity in that reality was to learn, to experience how to understand the inner vibration of the self. It was able to learn about the first and the second density consciousness experience in that time in the planet of Arcturus A, wherein its first density experiences and the second density experiences began. It was known by the soul name of Imar, which means to overcome obstacles. Furthermore, the entity in this timeline prior to that was found in the location space-time as known by your people as the location of Sirius A. It currently finds itself in the location of the Sirius A planetary sphere learning the lesson of advancing into the highest vibration of learning wisdom and to understand the lessons of later fourth density sub-octave completely. Hence we as the Galactic Federation now leave you. Bye. So my friends, uh, firstly, you know, first thing I uh, learned from the session is that uh, what they've said is the Looking Glass event uh, which will happen in December is possibly uh, related with the Yellowstone uh, volcano, right? And uh, what they've said is the negative entities, you know, they have created some kind of device in uh, Mars uh, which is able to send these waves uh, towards the Yellowstone uh, volcano, right? Yellowstone uh, volcano, I believe it's near Yellowstone National Park. And, you know, that volcano, you know, if it erupts, it may cause a lot of uh, you know chaos to our planet so we need to stop that and they have said the best way to stop that is to stop the wave which is coming from the negative entities so we need to create a shield around the earth planet and then we need to stop any wave you know negative wave entering the earth planet okay so the other thing that uh, they have talked about is the sounds which have been coming out of the river Euphrates you know now as far as I understand I am able to uh, realize and note that these sounds which have been coming out of the river Euphrates are the sounds uh, you know which primarily are related with those souls you know who have been trapped inside the river this means that you know there are many souls you know from um, the from long time back who may be trapped inside the river and they are producing these sounds right so i believe you know in a way uh, that these sounds are emerging from the river euphrates because of the trapped souls inside the river all right and then the other thing is i want to um, uh, state that the other thing that i learned uh, about is related with the past life of Nostradamus now um, you know past life of Nostradamus was amazing uh, what they said is basically uh, he is I believe a wanderer uh, so he came here uh, for the purpose of teaching lessons and he had like two incarnations on the earth planet as a human um, you know teaching lessons and predicting the future and he was able to make a, a large amount of difference and currently his soul is um, in learning the lesson of wisdom uh, I believe you know uh, Nostradamus is trying to enter into the next density which is the fifth density he is currently in the later fourth density uh, vibration of learning so that's what I understood from uh, this session and the other thing uh, that has been described is about the use of love and light okay the method of um, every moment choosing the vibration of either uh, love or either fear so every moment you know we have to make the choice to either uh, we will choose the vibration of love and we will serve others or we'll choose the vibration of fear and we'll serve the self so this was uh, revealed in the session uh, which i found really interesting so let me just show you a gift which i have received from spirit compass okay and uh, i believe you know they had they had sent me um, gifts before uh, and i will leave their youtube channel uh, on the description and uh, they have also sent a letter 
Firstly, let me read the letter and then I will show you the gifts. So, the Spirit Compass team, they say thank you. And I am also very thankful uh, to you. And uh, they have written uh, love and light. Okay. And yeah, they have written, um, hello again, uh, Sam. It is so nice to reconnect again. Thank you for all the work you do. We sent you a few gifts from our online store spiritcompass.com. We hope you like these spiritual items. Your viewers can get a 16% discount using the code SAM16. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you want to uh, get uh, you know the gifts for yourself, if you want to uh, purchase them from their website, um, you will get a 16% discount. And if you use the code SAM16, uh, you will get a 16% discount. Okay, their website is Spirit. S P I R I T Spirit C O M P A S S Compass dot com. All right. So um, they also have a YouTube channel, which I uh, will leave a link in the description. So let me show you the gifts uh, which they have sent me. Uh, firstly, uh, there is this amazing uh, pyramid, uh, which you can see. It's really nice piece yeah and then the other thing this is like a uh, super amazing gift you know I'm really thankful um, what they have sent me is um, you know is a is a kind of a you know back where I can keep my camera or uh, whatever you know whenever I am traveling so this will be really useful so thank you so much for sending this as well and uh, let me show you a few of these other gifts so the other gift you know we have is uh, this is uh, this is like a you know long cloth with different designs on it uh, like spiritual designs uh, just like this one uh, you can hang it in your room or wherever you want so this is also really amazing and let me just see so finally we have these kind of stones like these may be stones or um, I, I don't know, uh, maybe they are crystals, so uh, they look like really amazing and uh, really unique, you know, if you just look at them. So if you want to get any of these, you know, you can get it from the website spiritcompass.com uh, and you'll get a 16% discount if you use SAM16 as your code, okay? So thank you so much all of you for watching the video. I need to say a big thank you to all of you for um, liking the video and also commenting on it because it helps to uh, reach out to other people. And also if you want to know your past life, you can send me an email um, over here. I will help you out with your past life, your current life purpose, your soul name and any other questions you may have. And the other thing is I want to say thank you to all of you who have joined me on Patreon. As I said, you know, I not only upload sessions, but we also do meditations, we protect the planet. Uh, we are doing good things on Patreon. And the other thing is I want to say thank you to all of you for also um, you know, getting the booklet um, of the sessions which I have done till now. If you want to go in depth, uh, you can find the link is on the description. With that being said, see you in the next session.